was just starting to I was I was just starting to film. Because it's, it's a studio vlog. Welcome to the studio in quarantine. Basically every day is purgatory and it feels like a consistent Saturday, which you would think would be fine, but you slowly run out of things to do. So I thought I'd kind of just show you guys my routine or lack thereof. I'm gonna try to do some yoga, make some coffee, just kind of give you guys the show of kind of what I'm doing in quarantine. I, I think that the whole thing is, is putting ourselves to this kind of standard of, oh, I have to be working constantly because I'm at home. It doesn't really work that way. There's a, it's just a lot of weird going on right now. So I'm just gonna go get to my regular morning and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So we're back. I had to freshen up because that yoga, I don't know, good doing yoga in the morning, trying to keep as active as possible. I haven't really been going out very much, like outside, just because I've been really gross and I kind of burnt myself out a little. So I'm just trying to get that momentum back. I kind of got a few pieces that I want to work on, a gigantic canvas that I want to work on but I have yet to get started on that. I will just be kind of wandering around the studio for now and just going about my day as per usual. Oh. So what have you guys been up to in quarantine? I feel like I've been watching a lot of streaming. <laughs> that's uh, That's been the typical thing that I've been doing. I've been watching a lot of uh, Crave that we have up here in Canada, which is basically like all the stuff that's supposed to be on Hulu and whatever is on there. So I was watching, uh, I've been watching United States of Terra again, which is a really good show. And I watched on Being a God in Central Florida the first season. I really hope they have another season, but yeah, I was watching some of The Handmaid's Tale again, but like that is, that's just some intense stuff to watch. So I feel like I kind of am, need to watch some anime again and look at some like art and some illustrations and work on some studies. I don't, I don't feel like I got a lot of like 
art vibes going up in here. <laughs> like I feel out of practice a little because I've just been kind of half-assing it. So I just need to get into the zone and we will get to that today. I'm just gonna take it easy so far. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I have no idea what, it's 11.30 in the morning. Woke up late, <laughs> but regardless, I'm gonna make some something to eat and then I got a, I just got a campsite finished in my Animal Crossing. So if anyone else is playing Animal Crossing, please tell me uh, how far you are so far, like where your town is, because I this is my first time playing it. And yeah, I am just really enjoying it. It's really cute. Alfred's playing Animal Crossing too, so we can go to each other's towns and stuff. He had some issues with his, got bugged out, and he had to like restart it all over again. So yeah, but anyways, I will get back to you later. So I definitely am playing Animal Crossing, but I just want to kind of show you guys my like little house. So this is my little little house, my character. I can go inside my house, I guess. This is my house. It's very cute. I just got lots of stuff in there. It's already got an A, a rating, so. But yeah, this stuff is just for Alfred. And we just got some peaches, some apples. Oh, one of the Able sisters is here. Got my museum and stuff up here. Trying to organize it, so. Anyway, that's what I'll be up to for a little while. I basically haven't got terraforming or anything like that in Animal Crossing yet, but once I do, I'm gonna like really go hard and <laughs> reorganize everything because it's kind of a disaster. Hello everyone, it is I from the future. Uh, I just wanted to do a bit of a voiceover and talk to you guys. It's been a little while since I ended up uh, filming this vlog. However, you know, I wanted to get it out there and some people are still in quarantine. So, you know, basically this was kind of what my experience was like in quarantine, like just for a day. but. Not every day was as productive, and this vlog, the initial footage that you guys see, um, I'm like working on this page now. I was kind of like having one of those rough sketching days. Like I was trying to draw like Tyler the Creator, and like, I one thing I struggle when it comes to drawing is likeness. 
But at the same time, like, I don't know what it is. I, I'm having to, like, work through some things, I guess. I was, like, just feeling really stiff, and I don't think I'd drawn anything for a couple days at that point. So this was kind of like a warm-up. But given that I was, like, working on this hand forever, and, like, I pulled out the anatomy book, and I was, like, trying to look at my own hand, and it was, like, just... I think it was just not a good photograph that I was using from reference on Pinterest. It's hard to tell what photo is good for reference. I think some of you guys know what I mean. It might look like an awesome photograph, but you might not be able to see like that much information there. Which is why like people say, oh, draw from life. Life drawing classes are great, but it was quarantine and you know, everyone's still in quarantine somewhat. I'm back to work, but basically, yeah, I was kind of like rage drawing at that point and I was like, filming myself and drawing because I have like some severe anxiety <laughs> and it's just hard to get used to that but I mean it's good to see that like not every drawing turns out the best but at the same time that page ended up turning out like really nice and, and like later on I went in you can see in a couple frames here from now but I basically was working on my sketchbook a lot during quarantine I've been working on a few art pieces However, I felt like I was definitely not adapted to not having a routine because I work a day job normally, like when the world isn't blowing up. I'm just used to having a certain routine and I adapt to change, but at the same time when it comes to managing my own schedule, it's pretty tough when you deal with like anxiety and stuff like that. I'm a very neurotic, turbulent type of person sometimes, so it just, it is what it is. But this, I filmed the next day for the sketchbook and I was just enjoying doing these like contour drawings. I think that's what I kind of prefer when it comes to sketching sometimes, is I really like to sketch in ink because I feel like I can just think a little better. I feel like when you're drawing in pencil, my tendency at least is to just go like scratchy like back and forth like and you can see that in the footage too but I like when working with like ink and doing contour drawings because I feel like it kind of puts me in a different position when you have to like think a little more you kind of gotta think about where you're putting your lines before you do them and sometimes you can get a little wild and a little crazy it kind of teaches you not to be so tight and like the butterfly definitely is but I definitely enjoyed that page and I kind of went back in on it later and like just went chaotic in it and sometimes I tend to do that because if I'm feeling like a blank page is a bit too stressful like you can see here with this eye I'm just I'm basically like going back in and coloring stuff later I, I really enjoy that um I want to get my next sketchbook I'm thinking like to be other than a moleskin even though I love moleskin I want to be able to work with paint but have it be similar style to the moleskin that it opens up flat and it's that same size because I feel like any other size is like super intimidating for me <laughs> like I like being able to work on that one size page and nothing larger similar to, similar to the large canvas that I was talking about earlier that still hasn't gotten done and it's way <laughs> longer since then that canvas has just been sitting on that easel for days basically I ended up getting quite a bit done like I feel like I kind of do that when it comes to sketching I was just like having a rough day the day before and then I kind of warmed up a little and the next day I just like get some spurts and I do like four pages while I'm watching like Handmaid's Tale or whatever TV show I'm watching at the time and like I've been really enjoying contour drawing a lot even if it doesn't turn out to look exactly like the thing you always end up getting something interesting like this figure drawing that I was doing it doesn't have to always turn out exactly like the photograph and I think that I have to just deal with that with my inner perfectionist and kind of tell it to like F off and <laughs> you know it is a process. I ended up <laughs> having some fun with this page. I went and drew a plague doctor because, you know, the time kind of suits and it was like, oh, dark plague vibes. You know, everyone's wearing masks right now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, also on this page, I ended up like drawing some thumbnails. Uh, or just one thumbnail anyways and I've been trying to get in the habit of doing that and like the thumbnails always turn out like really crazy but it's just kind of good to get at least write your idea down and then you know even if you're not using it 
at that current moment, you can go back in and look at your sketchbook a few, I don't know, months or like years later and get some ideas. And at the time, you might like draw something and hate it, but most of the time I've gone through my sketchbooks later on, I'm just like, this is all right. <laughs> Why was I hating on this? I don't know. I feel like I talk about the most random things in these commentaries, but regardless, I hope all you guys are having, you know, a safe time. It's it's summer now, I can't believe it. I just feel like I went into work today and I was like, just thinking, I saw the dates and like this thing and I was just like, what the heck? It's like, where did this freaking year go? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see some more sketchbook content, I do have a whole bunch of sketchbooks that I am planning on doing a, a one or probably multiple videos for uh, because I have like 11 sketchbooks. So if you guys want to see any other art related content, please comment down below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out other videos and have a wonderful day. Peace out.